David Grossman, well, where, where does this leave the coalition? <clears throat> With me is the Liberal Democrat, Lord Oakeshott, and the Conservative MP, Bernard Jenkin. Bernard Jenkin, I mean, for you and other Eurosceptics, I mean, this is brilliant news, isn't it, what happened? Well, can I just make a criticism, which is there's an awful tendency in the BBC to turn this into a narrative about the coalition and about the Conservative Party. This is actually about the substance of an issue. And it's about the substance of an issue of which the Eurosceptics have broadly been demonstrated to be right. And how much of this, this programme have we right. spent talking about the substance no, of the no. issue? And how well, much have we spent talking well, about Well, we had your opening uh, report saying, alas for Britain, well, you know, we're isolated. Well, the this whole is interesting. So you don't been... think that this is significant for the relationship I do within think the coalition? This. I do think this is very significant. And I think, I think Matthew is going to think this is very significant. I think everybody should regard this significant. That we are, we are now in a new situation in a new relationship with our European partners because they are going off and doing something on their own okay. and we are not involved. But the foundations for that were laid at the Maastricht Treaty. And this moment was always going to become inevitable. And some of us have been saying that for a very okay. long time and we now must face the consequences of it. And I think David Cameron has faced the consequences. He's confronted it at Brussels. Lord Oakeshott, I mean, Nick Clegg said there that uh, Eurosceptics shouldn't be celebrating. Can you think of one reason why they shouldn't? Well, they I'm not be celebrating. celebrating. They shouldn't be celebrating. I mean, they are celebrating. You're just I saying mean, I told you They so are celebrating. Bernard, Bernard Jenkins has been a serial rebel. He's been, uh, with Ian Duncan Smith, uh, been leading the, the opposition effectively to our membership of the European no, Union. I mean, and, uh, uh, you know, he's now saying, we told you so. The fact is that this is a very damaging day for Europe and for Britain. He says, he says that Europeans have gone off on their own. They haven't. Britain has cut itself off from our main trading partners, our main allies, no, our main friend. It's deeply dangerous and millions of jobs in Britain, all over Britain, not a few hundred thousand in the city, have been put at risk by this very, very dangerous move. Well, Bernard Jenkins, we've given up quite a lot and as we were discussing earlier, we've, given, not, we we've not got a lot. What have we given up? We've given up a place at a table with 26 others who are no, deciding no, no. things. What, what have we given up? We're, we're, as David Cameron was explaining, we are still in the 27. All the, the entire treaty structure is still answerable to the 27 as it was before. What has changed? The only thing that has changed is that the other member states have decided to go off on their own and do something on their own because they cannot conceive of respecting a national interest, a, a relatively modest demand, I have to say. And many of us would have liked David Cameron to Excuse make me. much greater demands. Excuse demand. me, are you seriously, Very modest are you demands. seriously suggesting that Angela Merkel for Germany and Nicolas Sarkozy for France are not defending their national interests. Of course Don't they be are. ridiculous. Of course they are. Don't be ridiculous. So they're saying now the fact is are. that we this is the end game of a desperately silly decision by David Cameron when he was trying to buy right-wing votes against Liam Fox in the leadership election to leave the mainstream European grouping. He would have been there in Marseille with the Mangela Merkel uh, uh, and Nicolas Sarkozy oh, this, this, and Spain, and he's oh. off with the headbangers and the wackos in Eastern mm. Europe, and no. we are losing influence all the time. Well, can I just deal with you that know. point? If we'd had no. a Labour Prime Minister, would he have been at that dinner? No, he wouldn't. No, he wouldn't. Well, there he you wouldn't. are. You're but talking that's not rubbish. the point. But, no, no, but you're the point talking is, rubbish. No, I'm not, because they have their allies, whereas for many years, mm. the Conservative Prime Ministers, you may not have liked it, but Conservative Prime Ministers with a lot more experience, frankly, than David Cameron, were there in alliance with the main players on the European right, and now they are completely isolated and marginalised. Now, but what really matters is that the British Prime Minister has been doing special pleading for special interests in the city and uh, conciliating people like you who've never accepted the coalition agreement you're always asking for a referendum which is not in the agreement instead of putting the British national interest first. Bernard Jenkins do you think that uh, this does inevitably lead to a renegotiation of well, our relationship? I mean with the I'll, I'll just put it this way. We you now... seem to be a bit torn about yeah, whether no, a lot do, has I, happened or not I, very much. You want us to come out don't I, you? I Why do not openly and honestly say I so do, and then I we know where we are. I think this inevitably leads to renegotiation and if we don't get that renegotiation that will be driving us towards the exit. And that's why I want a renegotiation, because I want us to remain in the European Union. But just ask, I mean, the It's thing, not in the coalition well, agreement. Well, you I, are trying to wreck the coalition agreement, the which coalition we all agreement, signed. The coalition agreement 
has been overtaken by events. It is not. It, uh, it the is not. There's nothing about renegotiation in there. The co coalition agreement you know. did not envisage the imminent collapse of the euro. Well, the it hasn't agreement. collapsed. It okay. hasn't collapsed. But, and despite, despite the lack of mm. any help from David Cameron, it hasn't collapsed and they're getting their act together. Well, yeah, but but without from, us. From, but from now does... on, do you, are your two parties going to get on as badly as you two are? No, I mean, is this a demonstration are, of what the coalition is going to be like? We have a deal and we signed up to a deal on Europe which Mr Jenkin and his friends have never accepted. They basically don't trust David Cameron. They think he should have won. Uh, he didn't. The well, fact is that a deal is a deal, and all the time you're trying to undermine it, and it's deeply damaging well, for I Britain's position in Europe Bernard and Jenkin, in the I'm world. I'm sorry. We've got, to, we've got to leave it there. This will go on and on.